edition of Tone Hunt. We're up to Tone Hunt 20, and today we're looking at Amplitude 5's custom modern high gain. Now, this amp isn't modeled after anything. It's one of Amplitude's own, I guess, creations. Um, a nice blue cabinet there that we're looking at. So, let's get right into it to hear how it sounds. <laughs> So started playing this amp and I got a mellow feel for it. So I used my OS Paul Studio, which I can't seem to put down lately. But I did something unique for this one is I pulled the uh, the knobs for the coil taps for both the neck and bridge pickups and see what I could get. The rhythm was a just the the uh, neck and the lead line was both the bridge and the neck, but both of the coils tapped. So, but I got this mellow feel from it, and for high gain, this is what I came up with, this little riff that you're hearing here. But here's how I did modified it. So what I did, I didn't really do that much, but I did it uniformly, which is kind of weird. Uh, the gain, the bass, mids, the treble, the presence, I only knocked it to about 3 o'clock on the dial there. And I got that really kind of warm presence tone, lent itself to just kind of this laid-back, finger-picked uh, lick that then I would solo over. So it came up with the lead for this, kept all that the same, and then I added in a couple pedals, which you'll hear and see. <laughs> So I played the, the kind of the main rhythm lick there just to give comparison to the other two variations of the amplifier. Um, the lead was done with a pick. Uh, uh, there I just played it, finger picked it. But um, and came up with the track called Mercy Killing Me. The title just came to me and actually threw some lyrics on there, which you can hear as well in another take of it. But um, it was a kind of, this amp just kind of, this is what came out of exploring the amp. And even though it says high gain, I really didn't kind of push a high gain song with it. So I think it's a pretty versatile amp. And I, I actually liked this and I liked how it kind of evolved. 
Now, the track has got some mistakes in it, and I just didn't go in and clean them up. Hopefully, you can get through, like, the first 20 seconds because there's some octave stuff that I kind of flubbed there. But I get into the flow later on through the song. Um, so stick with it. And thanks for, as always, for listening. And please subscribe if you haven't yet. And we'll catch you on the next tone. Hunt.